Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a producer platform on the Open Food Network. And this will mean you can sell your produce yourself through the platform, or you can also make your produce available for other local food hubs to be able to sell it on your behalf as well. So to begin with, we're going to go up to the login screen up here. And obviously this is the first, if you're just signing up for the first time, you're going to need to create an account. So we're going to go to sign up. Great, so once you've signed up, you'll get a confirmation email sent to your email address, which you need to go in and activate the account. So once we've activated our account through our email, we can then log into the Open Food Network platform. Great, so we're into the homepage of the Open Food Network platform, and then down here we wanna to go to Interested in selling through the Open Food Network? Register here. So we're going to click this button down here and start the registration process for setting ourselves up as a producer or as a hub as well. So we click to agree to terms and service and then we need to put our enterprise name in. So in this case, I'm going to be top quality veg. Uh, we also need to put where we are in the world as well. So we add an address and the county. And click continue. Uh, the primary contact, so in that case, that'd be me. Obviously our email already knows from the sign up process and we just put a telephone number in as well. And click continue. So then we meet the type of account that we want to set up. And there are two options here. You're either a producer or you're not a producer. A producer is a person who wants to upload their own produce onto the platform, which they can then sell directly to customers or users of the platform um, through their shop front, but they can also set up permissions for other enterprises to be able to sell their produce on their behalf. So for example, they can take the tomatoes that they've grown and allow a food hub in the local area to be able to sell those tomatoes for them and then do a weekly delivery to the hub who then distribute on their behalf. So we're going to set up as a producer because we want to sell our produce. Create our profile. So here we just ask for a quick short description of what we do, what we're about. Um, so I'm going to be selling top quality veg and then a longer description if you want to tell about what you do what your hub is what you're about where you're located and things like that uh, also if you're registered as a company with company's house you put your company's number in here and vice versa if you're registered as a charity your charity number in here and whether you charge VAT or not on top We can also upload our logo if we have one uh, for our shop or one that we have created for our produce uh, and you can simply just drag and drop into it. And you can also select a promo image as well. So that might be a photo of the team that you have involved or you as the farmer as well. And once you've done that, and then also you can put your website, if you have your own website as well, a link to that, to your Facebook account, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram accounts as well. And these come up as little social media icons on your shop front page. Great, so we're all signed up. And we can now go to the enterprise dashboard. So again, here we can set up with different things. We can just be a producer profile, which means that we won't be selling our produce to uh, customers through the platform. So we won't be doing our own deliveries, but we can set up a profile as the producer. We can be a producer shop, which means that we then sell our own produce um, to the customers through the platform and organize our own delivery routes. Or we can be a producer hub as well, where we sell our own produce through the, the platform. And also we sell other people's produce as well that we sell on their behalf. So in this case, we're going to be just a producer profile. So we are growing food and then selling it onto a food distribution hub to be able to sell it for us. Great. 
Great. So there are a few different options in this page as well, uh, but the one main one we want to do next so that we actually have some produce on here that we can then offer up for sale is we're going to add and manage products. So we go to this button here. As at the moment, we don't have any products, but when we do list them, they're going to all appear in this box here so we can see them in the future. And first, we're going to go to add new products up here. Great. So uh, we select what supplier we are. So essentially, you can actually have multiple different um, producer profiles on the Open Food Network platform. So for example, if you were quite a large farm and you were selling different things throughout the farm, you could... Uh, if you wanted to have different shop fronts for the different things, for example, if you have meat and dairy in one part and vegetables in the other, and you wanted to separate those two operations into two separate shop fronts, so you're, you're able to do that on the platform. So when you're adding a product, you uh, essentially select which one of the suppliers that you are acting on behalf as. So we're top quality veg, and we are going to add some uh, tomatoes. Then we need to put in the unit size. Uh, this case, so it could be grams, kilograms, uh, a weight, a volume. Uh, if the product doesn't actually have a kind of metric or a literage amount, you use the items tag. So just it's a single item. But in this case, because we're selling tomatoes, we're probably going to be selling them in grams. And let's say we have 500 grams of tomatoes in each punnet essentially is weighed out at 500 grams. We then can also select product category. This is quite important because this helps the Open Food Network platform to filter products properly through the platform. So if you don't put a product category in, we well have to, but making sure that this is accurate is really important because it helps with the platform in terms of search functions. So for us, it's going to be fruit and veg, but obviously there's lots of different options here. Bread, baking, dairy, dry goods, eggs, etc., meat. Uh, so, but yeah, fruit and veg for this one. And then we want to set the price. So in this case, it's for the 500 uh, grams of tomatoes. So we're going to say £4.50 for those. So here you can see that it tells you the unit price here. So the unit price is nine pounds per kilo. Obviously we're selling half kilo punnets at 450. So that makes sense. You can also then add a tax category as well. So like we said, if you uh, signed up for VAT, you can say that whether this product is zero rated on tax, full rated or reduced rated, and then the software will calculate the tax that gets added on afterwards. In this case, we're gonna be none. And also a shipping category. Uh, so this means you can define how the, the food needs to be shipped. For example, if it needs refrigeration or it needs to be frozen as well. So there are other pro properties we can add on, but we'll leave it as default for now. And then the in stock function allows you to put how much stock you have available for another hub to be able to sell on your behalf. So for example, we have 30 panets of tomatoes available. You can also click unlimited if that is something that you wanted as well. It's also quite good to add a product description as well. So in this case, we're gonna put great quality tomatoes. And another thing that's really important is to add an image to the product as well. Uh, particularly for marketing purposes, is people like to be able to see what they're going to get. So in this case, we're going to add tomatoes image. Great. And then we can click create, or we can click create and add another. So you'll add this product and go back to the screen again and allow you to add your next product. So if you have quite a few to add in a row, it's a really good function. But for now, we're just going to add tomatoes. And there we go, our products in the shop. You can see it's in stock. We've got 30 in stock at the moment. Top quality veg is the us and the name is tomatoes. And obviously the more products you add, the more they will appear in the list down here. We can also then, if we have lots and lots of products, we can then search in this file through different, the different categories that we've assigned to them as well. 
So that helps, and also by date, and also by who put it in. In this case, we see Top Quality Veg because it's the only shop that we have on our account. All right. So now we need to set up enterprise permissions to allow another hub to be able to essentially import the veg profiles that we've created on here so that they can have them on their shop front and be able to sell them on your behalf. So to do that, we go to enterprises up here. And then we go to permissions here. Great. First of all, we need to select our shop. So we see top quality veg, that's us, permits. And then this is where we select the food hub or food enterprise that we want to be able to sell our produce. So in this case, I'm going to use the Open Food Network Demo Hub. So my shop with my tomatoes and it permits the Open Food Network Demo Hub to be able to sell my tomatoes. And you have a few different options depending on how much access to your account and to your inventory stock, for example, you want them to have. So you can give them all permissions. Um, you can give them add to order cycle, which really is the absolute bare minimum, which means that they can just take the image and the quantity of stock that you have, and it will be able to appear on their shop front and they'll be able to sell it on your behalf. You can also have it so they can manage your products as well, so they can add products to your shop or manage the stock levels, etc., for your products as well. So you can add that as a tick. You can allow them to edit your profile if you wanted to as well. And you can allow them to add products to your inventory. So once we've done that, we then create So that's everything set up and now the Open Food Network Demo Hub can now sell my tomatoes or vegetables on my behalf and I can do weekly drop-offs to their hub and then they distribute them through their network. Other things that are really helpful to take a look at on the platform are in the reports section where there's lots of different reports you can download um, as you start selling stuff through the platform including packing lists, order cycles, uh, customer totals, uh, how much money you've been making, and there's also quite a lot of uh, tax and financial reports as well that are really helpful. So if you have any questions or things you need help with, do get in touch with the support at openfoodnetwork.org.uk email. And also if you'd like any other video tutorials on how to set things up or how to use the platform, do let us know about that as well.